NFL on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the New York Jets, next on Madden Football. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. Anders Carlson has his teed up, ready to get started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And leading him out, the former Jet, playing against his ex-team, the 39th overall pick in 2013, drafted by those Jets, Geno Smith. Didn't exactly cover himself in glory during his time with the Jets, 11-18 and 18 as a starter. Almost wonder if not going in the first round and having to come back that second day at the draft mm -hmm. was a precursor about what was going to happen with him with the Jets. Plenty of talent, great mind, a football gym rat, but it never came all together while he was in New York. And now he's on the other side. Off of play action. Here's Smith. And his first pass is incomplete. Man coverage to start the game, and I expect we'll see a good amount of that. They trust their secondary to hold down the fort and let their pass rushers get home. And that's a good job right on play one. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Throwing now is Gino. Being chased out left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned. But thankfully, he popped up OK. And they breathe a sigh of relief on that sideline. I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. A shotgun snap for Smith. Forced out to his left. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. After the sack, you could understand him maybe be a little bit nervous back there, a little skittish. We looked awfully decisive when he took off and ran. Very decisive and picked up that first down in the process. Throwing is Smith. He'll get this complete to the tight end, Barner. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. First carry here for Ken Walker. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. 
Gino now to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Will McDonald, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively, and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. And yeah, this will be taken at the 13. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And the Jets will take over first and 10. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. Under center is a six foot two, 225 pound signal caller, Aaron Rodgers. And after an Achilles injury robbed him of playing most of last season, he's hoping this year can set himself up for a possible fairy tale ending in what has been an inevitable Hall of Fame career. We know it won't be easy, but the Jets have great optimism not only for Aaron Rodgers, but for the team. If he plays the full season, they believe they're truly a playoff team. They'll start on the ground. Hall and a short pickup to about the 25. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Second and seven. Now Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Here comes third in the length of the football. They'll run with Hall. And he'll have a Jets first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Rodgers going to throw. This complete to Corley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and eight. Here's Hall again. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Throwing now is Rodgers. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. Throwing is Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does 
have first down yardage. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So the fourth down conversion has him inside the 40 now, first and 10. Now Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. we got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game that will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Second and ten. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Blitz coming and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Now they'll work with four receivers here on third down and long. Here's Rodgers. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It'll be a loss of two on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. And they'll bring out Anders Carlson now to try the field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a scoreless game. So a very long drive, play after play, gets him down the field. But wouldn't you know, it winds up yielding nothing. And over on the sideline, you've got a kicker who feels worse about it than anyone. There's nothing you hate more than seeing the look on your linemen's faces after all their hard work getting you in position. The lonesome kicker. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he's going to bull his way forward to the 48. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Sticking with Walker on second down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. No score after one on EA Sports. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll try for the first with Walker. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Here's Michael Dixon now to punt. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. 
And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. Down the left sideline. Brees Hall. And finally taken down at the 15. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 69 yards. The ultimate speedster showing that speed at this, in front of this home crowd. They love that. Made me stand up on that run because right now all I want to do is wave to the crowd. More noise, more noise. You got to reward him for that one. A big time monster run. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. To throw, it's Rodgers. That one taken in by Corley. Will be a gain of five, and it's second down. Now it's Rodgers. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. To throw is Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And his kick is good. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here. And now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Now Gino. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam. And he broke that one up. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. From the gun, it's Walker. And he powers his way up past the 30. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Smith now to throw. And that nearly intercepted. Well, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. This is brought in at the 21. 
13 yards, the tally on the return there. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Jets offense and Brees Hall headed out onto the field. And he's been a tough man to stop in this first half. He's putting up some big numbers already, and we have yet to reach halftime. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last. Toward the sideline, intercepted. Picked off by Reek Woolen. Inside the 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets them on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week, when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding. But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So out now come the Jets. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at about the 32. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And that went to the right side and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Rodgers now to throw. Looking downfield and that's caught right side. He's got his man. Catch number four for him on the afternoon and it'll give him a first down. They'll give to Hall. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 99 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Running left, it's home. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 37. 
That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Here's Rodgers to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. From his goal line here, Smith. This is Fant on the short completion. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. This is second and eight. Now Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. A first catch of the ball game there for Metcalf. And a first down to boot. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Up the middle, here's Walker. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. To throw with Smith. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked up by D.J. Reed. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. And now out come the Jets. And they'll take over here following the interception with good field position and a chance to take the lead with a touchdown. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Yeah, he's got it. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets have retaken the lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 
A nice tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. Smith. Got a man. It's Brown. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. And the Seahawks on third down, just one for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Here's Smith setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And some space here. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Off of play action. Here's Smith going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. Smith. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Walker. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Geno out of throw. Out right to Smith and Jigba. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Now it's Smith. He completes this to Walker, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Calling a gain of three on the play, and it'll be third down.
Throwing now is Gino. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Toward the pylon, caught. Touchdown, Seahawks. Jackson Smith and Jigba. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Now Myers for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was capped off by a Jackson Smith and Jigba touchdown catch. For the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Well, the Jets take it over again. Brees Hall making his way out with the offense. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. He's not the reason they're losing. And that is really unusual because ordinarily, when you've set the tone this way, and have run it this effectively, usually your team's in control. So it's a very strange situation. And you're right, you can't fault him. He's done a great job for his team thus far. I'm guessing he's saying, feed me on the sidelines. Now will they continue to do it? Shotgun now for Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. The Jets are gonna use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Rodgers. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And that will keep this a four-point game. Yeah, it's been a disappointing first half for him, all things considered. And this can serve as the capper. It's a missed field goal in the late going. And that's only going to serve to lessen the mood even further. The final shot here before break. Smith. He'll let this go deep for Smith and Jigba. And that's going to be incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game.
As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Here's the Jets' offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. but we got a tight one set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? Open man here is Conklin. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. Now it's Rodgers. And a completion to Wilson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and two. A give running right is Hall. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Hall again. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Uh, give to Hall running right. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives them a first down. Now, the coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Throwing now is Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. to throw it's Rodgers throwing for the L route he finds Wilson he's going to go out of bounds but he takes this one down just shy of the 20 
11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Rodgers again now. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Here's Rodgers to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And just as they thought they might be able to take that across and get the lead, a big red zone turnover. I know that I am defense-centric, and I want to give them a whole lot of credit, but I just can't believe after that drive, in that position, ball security paramount, they turned the ball over. Terrible. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at the 20. Hands it to Walker to begin the series. Nice his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now second and seven from the 23. Now Gino. Man open left side is Brown. The result, only four yards there on the play. And just like that, it's third down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. The Jets offense and Aaron Rodgers getting set for their next drive. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets, and it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And yeah, difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Hall again on second down. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that, and that really chips away at your confidence. Rodgers now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, 
He's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Ball on a give up the middle. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second and nine. They'll go again with Hall. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Throwing is Rodgers. Caught on the right side by Adams. They had a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to make it fourth down. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down, and he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted spotted at the 14-yard line. The Seahawks offense and Kenneth Walker set to take over once more. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the topic of the halftime talk for this defense. We've got to find a way to slow him down. That's probably what they're saying. But nothing that they have done has worked so far. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They work now on second and nine. to throw is Smith. And got his man complete. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he will score. Touchdown Seattle. Jackson Smith and Jigba. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. The extra point now coming from Myers. It's good, and it's 21-10. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. For the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. And that's complete to Adams. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. To throw is Rodgers. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he is going to have a Jets first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Now Rodgers. His pass complete to Ruckert. Just a gain of a couple there. And that will bring up second down. Here's Rodgers. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for not. So five yards here, five on the play, and now two yards to go on third down. Rodgers going to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. On play action. Now Rodgers. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He gets it underneath to Hall. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now Rodgers. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Garrett Wilson, 31 yards. And the Jets have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Big play coming now for the Jets as they'll set up to go for two. Rodgers will throw for it. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away.
So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Seahawks offense and Geno Smith headed back out for this next possession. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. Walker now on first and 10. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. This defense tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. And Walker once more. And some room to work. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 57 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs, that tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest. And they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. They'll try the air now with Smith. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his presence is felt. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. He gets a good chunk of yards there, eight all told, but they're still looking at a fourth down. The defense has been on the field a long time now, and after a run like that, they've got to feel like they're almost on roller skates and getting pushed backwards on just about every snap. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to put him a touchdown and a two-point conversion up. Myers' kick is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. 
Now, from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. And New York set to take the field. And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And that's a much needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Here's second down and three. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Caught by Wilson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Garrett Wilson with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Jets have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So they got the touchdown they needed to cut this to two, but now they've got to get back to the huddle. No celebration time. Got to figure out what they're going to do on the two-point conversion. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Rodgers to throw. And it's caught. And with it, we are tied here in the fourth. Huge, huge conversion there to tie this thing up, but they're not done yet. Their defense needs to get a stop. Yeah, there's still plenty of time for the other team to come downfield and put some points on the board. But job one was taken care of. The two-point conversion to get this thing tied. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The visitors' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. 
And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. Here's first and ten. Smith's going to throw it. Complete to Chanel. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, that's a good first step, but several steps still to go. They still have time for the possible game-winning field goal. Time for them to be quick and hurry at the same time. Here comes second down. Smith setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put out one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Plenty of time left, plus all three timeouts. Here's first and ten. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Well, they'll come up now. This is second and long. Smith to throw. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another gain like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. Final minute. One timeout remaining. First and ten. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Here's Smith. Out to the right. He gets it to lock it. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A big play here. Crowd on their feet. Third and four. Smith now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 16. And now they're going to get the timeout. A huge play has him in field goal range with a chance to win. So now this one will rest on the right foot of Jason Myers. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. Two seconds on the clock. This for the win. And it is good. He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And they'll be celebrating in Pioneer Square tonight. The Seahawks have won the game. So the victory here for Seattle, and this not always an easy proposition, Charles. You had a West Coast team that traveled east, but they got the job done.
And there's so much that goes into it because your body time and your body clock different from what you're used to west because if you go east, you're going to lose up to three hours, right? So is your body going to be awake when it's time to play? A lot of teams actually rehearse it. They practice it. Maybe the week of the game, they move everything up to that time frame so guys get used to doing it that way. I remember when I played at Tennessee, when we had to go from east to west, our trainer Tim Karen said, leave your watches on East Coast time. Every piece of information we got was East Coast standard time. Try to psychologically tell us what to do, as well as prepare our bodies the same way. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.